wild horses keep dragging me away and i'll lose more than i'm gonna win someday hey guys welcome back to cold case cause and i am in a wonderful mood because the beautiful sun is out finally it's the first time i've seen the sun in like five days y'all it's been doom and gloom and frozen and arctic i'm sure all of you know all over the u.s everyone's been getting this gnarly weather but the dogs are super stoked they've been laying out basking in the sun all day and we just been soaking it up and this is just a beautiful day thanks be to the creator for these for this beautiful sunshine and you made it because this is a very special episode this is our wild mustang episode and these are real wild mustangs of southwest colorado guys and i was actually able to capture some on the game cameras that i have posted up all around here um so i hope you're stoked i know it's been a little while i apologize for uh taking a while to upload this but i kept getting pictures and bad pictures on the game cameras and i put a little something out for them so i could get better pictures and now i've able i was able to get uh capture some really nice pictures of these wild mustangs so these are direct descendants of the Spanish horses. I don't know if you know, but the Spanish actually introduced horses to North America way, way back in the day when the conquistadors came through on the Spanish expeditions. And a lot of these tribes were gathering tribes, uh, but once they acquired the Spanish horses, they became raiding tribes and wartime tribes. Um, a lot like the Apache, uh, the Jicaria Apache Reservation is just south of here, and the Apache really became a wartime force once they got a hold of the horse, as well as the Southern Utes. And that's where we're at. We're out here on the Southern Ute Indian Reservation, or Native American Reservation, as I like to say. And um, the Southern Utes, once they acquired the horse, they became raiders as well. They're similar to the Comanche, they were um, a wartime tribe. So these wild mustangs that are out here are actually direct descendants of these native american horses so it's very rare uh, very limited amount of wild horses left in colorado and in northern new mexico uh, you know they're wild animals and they're rare, super rare so to be able to capture some on actual camera is uh, real special so i wanted to share that with you i hope you're having i hope you had a blessed week this week it's friday right now and um big nice sunny weekend ahead so i hope you are able to spend this nice beautiful weekend coming up with someone you can love and stand and i wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by uh cold case calls here uh we got a lot coming up i'm we're still waiting to hear back uh on what the dna comes back to on the remains the head and the hand remains from grand junction and uh, I've been working a farm job so that I'm able to hopefully pay for this search coming up for Chelsea Grimm. We're not giving up on that. We're still gonna go down to Arizona for Chelsea Grimm. As soon as we can get a break in this weather, which I'm, it's looking like might be on the forecast here in the near future. So we're stoked about that. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, turn on that notification bell and uh, tell me what you think about these photos, guys. Uh, I think I got it figured out with Canva on how to do like a slideshow and add this video. So I'm still learning on the editing, but um, we're, we're going to figure this out one way or another. We're going to figure this out together, me and you together. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, tell me what you think. Don't forget to comment down below and have a beautiful weekend with the people you love. And I just wanted to show you the Mesa. And it's sloppy and messy, but hey, the sun is out, and it is a blessed day. Blessings to the creator. Now let's see if I can get a little shot of Nipsey over there. There's Nipsey. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Blessings.